This is a second stimulus check update. In this video, I'll go over the crucial dates in regards to the second stimulus check, some updates, and then the current rental assistance programs. Let's get right into it. Let's talk about the timeline first. So exactly a week ago, President Trump said that the next stimulus will be very generous and announced in a couple of weeks. So that puts the timeline with, with what President Trump said at July 6th of when he thinks the announcement will happen. If it wasn't an election year, this promise wouldn't hold much weight, but considering that the elections are just a few months away in November, President Trump making this statement is a big deal because a lot of people who are struggling financially will remember that President Trump made this announcement and if he didn't follow through with it, then it could affect his re-election chances. Another date to keep in mind is that tomorrow the Fed Chairman Jerome Powell and Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin are both going to testify uh, before the House Financial Services Committee tomorrow. So they are going to, they have different, they have conflicting views and they're going to provide different perspectives, which I think is good of whether we should get another stimulus or not get another stimulus and the reasons why. So we should find out some really good news tomorrow as well. Another important date to be aware of is July 2nd, Thursday, because that is when the jobs report is coming out and is going to let us know the unemployment numbers for June. If the unemployment rate decreases, this could give the politicians a reason to hold off on the second stimulus check until further notice or completely not do it at all. So Thursday is a very important day. Unfortunately, the senators are using the unemployment number as one of the key indicators of whether or not we need a second stimulus check. But what they're not looking at is the unemployment rate by state. Because if they're looking at the average, then some states are higher, some states are lower. So if we look at this, I know the numbers are a little small, it's hard to see, but you don't really need to look at the numbers. Basically, this is showing from May 2019 unemployment rate by state compared to May 2020. Uh, so we could see that there is a huge difference, uh, clearly because of the pandemic between both years, but some states are above 20%. For example, Hawaii, which is you know relies heavily on tourism and hospitality industry, uh, their, unemployment, their unemployment rate was over 20% at 22.6%, Michigan, 21.2%, and the highest, which is Nevada, at 25%, over 25%. Now, a state like Nevada is hurting a lot because Las Vegas was shut down. Billions of dollars that they normally get were not flowing in. Therefore, people, residents weren't getting paid if they worked in the casino, if they worked in the restaurants, and not even directly in Las Vegas. That money flows out to other businesses in different towns uh, and local cities around there too. So there's a lot of factors that come into play here, but I think this is a clear indicator that more stimulus is needed because there's a lot of people who are financially hurting. And what this doesn't show is that people who keep their jobs, so for example, if someone is a waiter, server, bartender, they may still have their job, but with a lot of restaurants going at 50% capacity, 25% capacity, their hours could go from 40 hours down to 10 hours or 20 hours. Therefore, they may lose 50 to 75% of their wages. Even though they still have a job, they're employed, their wages are dramatically cut. And if we look at the unemployment by industry, we could see that the leisure and hospitality industry is severely hurt. What's going on with the resurgence of the virus, like a state like Texas, where numbers are spiking, and the governor said that they are going to start shutting down restaurants or at least limiting capacity, that's going to affect the leisure and hospitality industry a lot more. And because these shutdowns and partial shutdowns are happening at the end of the month, the numbers may not reflect that in the unemployment rate uh, job report that comes out on Thursday. And another important date is July 3rd until July 17th. That is when the Senate is out of office. They're actually getting back in the office July 20th, but they are on vacation for a few weeks, which means that if the job report comes out and the numbers are bad and the people need a second stimulus, they already have vacation plans. They're already going to their country club or their vacation house. They may not even have the ability to do their work. I think they should not take their vacation, and for a lot of the politicians who want to get reelected, if they volunteer to stay and work it out, I feel like the people will respect them a lot more. To go on vacation when struggling American families need their help the most, I think, in my opinion, is insulting. Because not only are they going on vacation every single month, but they're getting paid 
over $100,000, $174,000 salary. A lot of them have net worths of millions of dollars. And it just shows the disparity between the reality that the senators are living and the reality that Americans are living. To answer the biggest question, when are we getting our second stimulus check? It all depends on this week. So these dates this week will determine whether or not we're going to get a second stimulus check and when. If they decide that they do want to have a second stimulus check, and the Senate signs off on it, the President signs off on it, it'll probably be within two weeks from that moment. But that moment, uh, we don't know at this time. In regards to how much will our second stimulus check be, at the time, it's looking like a one-time payment of $1,200. I know a lot of people were looking forward to the $2,000 a month stimulus, because uh, if we look at Canada, if you're not familiar, Canada is getting $2,000 stimulus uh, per month on a four-month basis. Now, to be fair, it's 2,000 Canadian dollars. But at the time of filming this video, the conversion from 2,000 Canadian dollars to US dollars is $1,464. So that means Canada is getting $1,464 per month on a four month basis. This started April 6th, so they're gonna get a steady payment of $1,400 or so for until August. So I think the recurring payment was a really good idea that Canada implemented just because it helps people throughout the pandemic. It gets a lot of the people who fell through the cracks like uh, social security recipients, uh, SSDI veterans, as well as the people who have jobs but their hours are dramatically cut. I think this uh, type of recurring payment would help out Americans greatly. If you agree with me and think that the US should get recurring stimulus payments, let me know down in the comments below. And if you don't wanna comment, hit that like button. And if you are curious what other countries around the world are getting in regards to stimulus checks with Asia, Europe, Australia, you could look at this list right here on the screen and pause it if you want. Next, we're gonna talk about the current rental assistance programs. So if you're just waiting for the second stimulus check, I highly urge you to check your local city town, county, or state. Just look it up, type it in Google, see if they're offering any rental assistance programs, utility assistance programs, or even they, some uh, places are offering their own local stimulus checks. First question I got, please kindly help check out rental assistance in Maryland. So what I found in Maryland is that they just approved a program. So they have an eviction prevention program, which are, they're going to donate 20 million to. Uh, this is for the state of Maryland, no specific county and then a uh, housing relief program of $10 million. It doesn't say how much is gonna go to each applicant yet, but I'll keep you updated. If you want me to look up your specific place of residence, put that down in the comments below and I may feature it in a future video. Next, Andrew Tanako asks, is there any help in Tucson, Arizona? Uh, so yes, I found that Arizona as a whole, they have a rental assistance program uh, that they could give up to $2,000 per month and it'll go directly to the landlord. Next, the Everything Channel. Uh, does Oklahoma have any rental assistance? Yes, so Oklahoma does have a uh, rental assistance program. Uh, where is it? Oh yeah, so they could. Uh, the program offers up to $2,500 for qualifying residents affected by the crisis uh, to pay for delinquent rent or late fees accru accrued during the COVID-19 shelter period. Next comment comes from Nick Tyrone asks, what about Pennsylvania? How about Pennsylvania? Uh, yeah, so Pennsylvania, actually starting today, they have a renters and homeowners uh, applications, which they're accepting June 29th, and they're going to look through the applications July 6th, and I couldn't find an exact amount uh, like per applicant of what you could receive. Then someone asked me about Oregon. So Oregon is receiving $3.5 million in rental assistance just for certain counties. So Lynn County, Benton, and Lincoln, those are the ones that are receiving the funds for rental assistance. And if you're looking for another free money opportunity, if you sign up through Webull down in the description below, then you get one free stock just for signing up. You get a second free stock if you put $100 in the account and you could take that $100 out, you could cash out both stocks, put those back into your bank account, or if you want a third free stock, you could sign up through Robinhood. And I have another 10 different investment app options where if you just sign up, you either get free money 
or free stocks that you could cash out, put into your bank account. And if you wanna watch more second stimulus check updates, you could click this playlist right over here. And if you wanna learn six ways of how you can make money from home, you could click this video over here. It's on my second channel, Wise Sense, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, be safe. Thank you for watching.